number 1 find the indefinite integral for each of the following so why does we, why do we call it indefinite because we don't know from where because we don't know from where to where okay so for indefinite integral after we do the integration we need to add up plus c so how to know if you need to plus c or not you have to check here do you have a number here if we don't have a number here after you do your integration the last one you need to add it plus constant right so for a integration of 2 dx so integration is like opposite of what we do in, in uh, differentiation so for example here integration differentiation what we do is that we have 2x y is 2x so dy over dx what we do is that uh, we take the power right multiply with the constant so 1 times 2 after you multiply you minus the power with 1 so 1 minus 1 so basically you get 2 x power of 0 x power of 0 is equal to 1 so basically you get 2 so you see here you bring forward and then you minus you multiply see here you, you bring forward means you multiply you multiply and then you minus right so for integration it would be opposite so what we do is that we add so you see multiply and minus so what we do is that we add and then we divide see here multiply minus so opposite means you add and then you divide okay so here you add so 2 is equal to 2x power of 0 actually right so for 2 we will get x because 2 this one is actually x power of 0 Okay, after you finish, you need to add up plus C here. So, this equals, so you see 2, you need, you, it will become 2x, like thing like this, because add, uh, two, just 2 is actually x power of 0. So, you need to add the power with 1. So, 2x power of 0 plus 1, and then you need to divide with the power. Power is 1. After you finish doing it, you need to add up with C. Oh, this one is 2x plus C. Or basically, if you just see a constant, just add up x. Right. Okay. So, for B, integration of 5 over 6 dx. So, this one is also the same. It becomes 5 over x. x. So, after you do everything inside, and then you need to add up C. So, this one is also similar negative 2 dx is equal to negative 2x so after you finish doing the integration you need to add up with c so just remember if you only have a constant what you need to do is just add up x why because see in a i show you what happened here if we only have a number it's actually x power of 0 because x power of 0 is equal to 1 so we need to add up the power with 1 and then we need to divide the power. You add first and then you divide the power. Something like that. So for D, we have pi over 3, integration of pi over 3 dx. So again, this one is a constant, right? It is a number. Pi is a number. 3, 3 per 1 something. Okay. So pi over 3. So it's actually pi over 3 x plus c. Or, okay, this is plus 1. So x over 3 so we know that when this is only what we have so we know x power of 0 right x power of 0 plus 1 divided by the power after you add up is 1 plus c which is equal to this one 